Yo, what's happening, folks? I'm Nick. This is Wales in the Movies, and I've got some good news for you. So back in ooh, uh, April 2020, yeah, we were due for the release of Dream Horse, the film Cymru Wales funded and um, Beaker Films production, which was also going to be distributed by Warner Brothers in the UK. Dream Horse is an adaptation of the true story, which also exists in documentary form in the 2014 documentary which was called Dark Horse. Amazing how many Welsh films have got the word dark in the title. Anyway, so why am I doing a vlog about it? Well, because I'm pretty excited about it. If you want more details about why I'm looking forward to it, um, I have written a, a Facebook blog about it just this week which I've republished um, and it's called What to Expect from Dream Horse. So the reasons why I'm excited about it is that it looks like a genuine bona fide potential Hollywood hit. Now, you know, if I watch this, if you watch this channel, you'll know that I, I moan a lot about Welsh films and the mistakes they make. And a lot of the mistakes they make are centered around similar problems, like not nailing down a firm genre and not marketing a film properly and not making it identifiably Welsh. However, Dream Horse is a genuine Welsh story. Um, this one's been funded by Film Cymru Wales. And what I hope is going to be a step up in ambition for them because they're getting involved with Warner Brothers, who are distributing it over here. Um, it is a story, a Welsh story, and it's directed by a Welshman, Iros Lynn, who made um, Daredevil. He's made uh, Torchwood Series 3, Children of Earth, which is booted, um, and the Welsh film Clubbergeth, loads of episodes of Doctor Who, um, other things like this. It stars Tony Collette, Damien Lewis. Um, I was actually an extra on set for two days back in April 2019 and I kind of loitered around the stars for a bit and um, I can report that Tony Collette has got a good Welsh accent. It's also starring Sean Phillips, uh, Stefan Rodri, uh, Peter Davison, um, or Peter Davison from Doctor Who, uh, Darren Evans, he's in it, and just a, a pretty extensive Welsh cast um, and it looks excellent and uh, it looks like a kind of typical rags to riches story. So what I was telling you about earlier with, um, you know, Welsh films and what I was moaning about Welsh films is they so often fail to, to clearly <laughs> nail down a genre. But um, this one is Bleecker Street. Sorry, Bleecker Street is the name of the studio. I've seen him here before. Oh, that's Stefan Rodri there. Guy Botcher from Twin Town. I need something to look forward to when I get up in the morning. So the reason I'm excited about it is that this is what they call it an Owen Teal, forgot about him. It's what they call an archetypal story. So like, there's that book called The Seven Basic Plots, which means that every film follows one of those kind of templates or paradigms. And this would be called Rags to Riches. So it's a, a rags to riches comedy drama. And there's loads of Welsh accents in it. It looks identifiably Welsh. And it's a film which clearly knows what it wants to do. And that's quite rare in the Welsh film world. So it was due for release originally in April 2020. Um, in fact, the preview release was due for March the 16th, 2020. And I think we locked down on March the 15th. So that was pretty typical. Um, this is a Hollywood film. It's going to be distributed by, I think, Sony Pictures in Australia as well. Um, as for release dates, we still haven't got a release date in the good old United Kingdom, and therefore Wales. But in the US, I think it's hitting cinemas on May the 17th. So if it's hitting cinemas on May the 17th, um, I believe that the Welsh cinemas are due to be opening sometime at the end of May. Um, so you should be able to go and see it in the cinema, right? Now, what I'm gonna ask you to do is, go and support Dream Horse, go and watch it. You won't have had the chance to go to the cinema for ages, and this channel, what I wanna do is, if I can, which is when I have genuine feelings about a project like this, when I can, I wanna help promote it, because if we can make help make this movie a success, then it looks pretty good, doesn't it, you know? It looks like a real feel-good kind of thing. If we can help make it a success, then 
this demonstrates a demand, doesn't it? It demonstrates a demand for, um, for Welsh projects. And it shows that, you know, if you make a film in Wales, then that's a good market for films. More stories should be set here because I want to see more films set here, particularly Hollywood films. Now, yes, we've had loads of comedy dramas in the past, but this one looks like it's got a better chance than most of them for the reasons that um, I've said. So I'm going to try and get someone who's involved on the film on this channel over the next month to do an interview on the Telling Well Story series. So wish me luck with that. And um, I'm just going to say again, if you go and see a film at the end of lockdown, at the end of May 2021, make it Dream Horse and support a Welsh film. I'm Nick, this is Wheels in the Movies, and uh, I'll see you next time, innit? Ta-da. Thank <laughs> you.